Hello and welcome to What Is It About the Weather? Now, we're not going to have a full episode this week, but I did want to take a moment and say thank you. I had no idea when this journey started at the beginning of spring where we would be today if I would be doing this talking to a microphone and, and be the only one listening uh, or what might happen. But certainly there's a lot of you out there listening to the podcast and watching the vidcast, and I just wanted to say thank you and also say thank you for the support. Um, many of you have been embracing the RSVP methodology, whether that's been you know rating us on iTunes and other locations, whether it's been sharing, and I, there's been a tremendous amount of that lately, um, through other podcasts, through email chains, through social media, and I know even in ways that I've not seen it, validating what we're doing, sharing show ideas, um, giving us feedback on what we're doing, as well as those, of course, who are supporting us through Patreon, through pledging um, a little something so that we can have equipment to do this right, etc. So thank you for all of that. And as discussed um, when we got started, the plan is to generally do four episodes a month. And that means once a quarter, we're going to end up with an odd week, kind of like this week. And we'll be back to full episodes next week, as I promised with the, the episode regarding broadcast meteorology and the changes going on in that industry. But I also thought I'd take a moment as uh, we enter meteorological summer, it's the kickoff of the North Atlantic hurricane season. We've just come off a very active spring around the globe with a lot of dangerous um, and potentially life-threatening uh, weather. And it reminds me that, you know, there's a lot of people that protect us um, both after the fact but also giving us um, warnings in advance that help us do what we can to get out of harm's way when dangerous weather comes around. And I want you to, instead of listening to a, a podcast or me ramble on about some topic, to stop, use that time to pick out one person or one organization. I don't care whether it's a local television station or one meteorologist at a television station, your local National Weather Service office, and again, that's that's here in the U.S., but globally, you know, whether it's a local office or the organization um, that provides, you know, weather warnings to you, or if you don't know who those people are, just somebody that protects you and keeps you out of harm's way when, when it comes to severe weather events. Now, if you don't know how to reach out to those people, let me know. I'll help you. But you know, most of the National Weather Services, you can, in, for instance, in the U.S., you can go in and type your zip code at weather.gov, and one of the first things that shows up on the page, uh, kind of over on the right side in the listings of things, where you can search a page, is local office, and it gives you details. Call them or find them on Twitter or, or find them on Facebook or whatever it is. There's a variety of ways to get them. And like I said, if you can't find them, you let me know and I will help you find them. Take a moment and thank them for what they do. They're in this day and age, again, with all the social media and all this stuff, they get plenty of thing, times when they're told, well, you interrupted my show you were watching or this and that and the other. And, and you know what? These people are out there saving your lives. Now, no, every day is that what's going on, no. But when when the time comes and your life is on the line, these people are the ones that are doing what they can to try to help you. So stop now and go thank them. Until next week. Have good, but most importantly, safe weather. <laughs>